Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Ron Mars. You are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Previously, two weeks ago on Marvel Tales. Your mother's a whore! <laughs> That's right, kids. We warned you and we warned you, but yes, another crossover with Gamma Charge. So you know what that means? Russell's back. All right. <laughs> But that's right, so you should have gone to Gamma Charge and listened to part one of Return of the Defenders, but now, because we're going to do part two right here on Marvel Tales. Alright, so again, of course, it's me, Phil, and of course, that Gamma Owl himself. With Justin the Owl swooping back in for another 90s crossover review. And again, that green door is swung open on Kentucky, because Russell has joined us. I'm back, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be a new drop. <laughs> yes. Your daddy's got flaccid titties. Wow! <laughs> uh, I love how Ru- I love how Russell's like pretending he's coming up with like uh, classy drops, and we watch the stuff he hears around town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could definitely say a few of those. I don't think they'd be allowed, though. Probably not. <laughs> Little for kicker ass. All right, kids. So yes, uh, <laughs> yes. So uh, I'm here again. We're uh, another crossover with Gamma Charge, but this time we are part two. So yeah. So this time we're doing what is it? The Silver Surfer Annual Number. Hold on, let me sure get these numbers number right. Number five. Number five, and then Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme Annual Two. Both from 1992. Yeah. So you know there's gonna be top ten villain lists at, in them. Oh yes. Oh and god. There are. <laughs> Because, again, last episode, uh, Justin, we did Assault on Armor City and Darkhawk, mm. Avengers West Coast, and Iron Man all had top ten uh, villains. Darkhawk had a top ten it, villain? Half of it was, and, like, Spider-Man villains. It was, like, the, Hobgob- it was Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin, Venom, Venom, yeah. Venom Tombstone. Tombstone. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm going to try to guess as many as I can on those lists. So, yeah, that, yeah that'll, be a, fun, list, that'll yeah. be a fun thing to do. Yeah. And we were saying, you're probably going to want to send in feedback or join us for a few episodes, because not only are Lilith and I doing two Hobgoblin episodes in November, but Justin and I are also doing uh, Hob- Hobgobble Gobble well, episodes, because... It's Mackendale. It's Mackendale, mm-hmm. so we're going to cover his, some of his... Well, we're going to cover his first appearance before he was even the Hobgoblin, when he was Jack-O-Lantern. Jack-O-Lantern! From uh, Machine Man. Machine Man, uh, of all places. Yeah. His first appearance yeah. was Machine yeah. Man. Yeah. I own that issue. Um, oh, you do? Yeah. Well, of course, uh, I can do. But, yeah, I, I don't need to hear Lilith talk and smack about the Hobgoblin for the fifth or sixth year in a row. Um, <laughs> well, sometimes it's the Green Goblin, but yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, do you love the do you love Mackendale as much as, like, Roderick Kingsley? No. no okay, so, well, mm. we're going to we'll be talking smack on uh, Mackendale this year, so. Yeah, but she usually talks smack about Roddy, and I got just a little thing. Lilith. You and me, <laughs> hell in a cell. <laughs> Present it, Lilith. Present it. Hell in a cell. There's a lot of glare coming off that dome of yours, squirrel nuts. <laughs> Your whole family can suck it. I'll call my dad right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the magical <laughs> land of Kentucky. That old magical land of Kentucky. It's all rape and murder, I'll tell you that. Endless, and fields, endless fields of Mountain Dew, which Lil would probably like. Um, mm. Mountain Dew and tobacco and racism. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she likes it. I don't know if she likes the regular tobacco. She likes that wacky tobacco. Mm-hmm. She yeah. does. Yeah. We both yeah. enjoy it. Which isn't legal here. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, Justin. Yes, you, you and Lil share many uh, uh, common interests. Things in common. You know, cannabis and comics and other things to see. 
69s. Cock a doodle doo. Big meaty claws, right? Claws. That's what it is. That's the C word. <laughs> she said champagne, Sorry. but yeah. Coconut. Giant sized man thing. That's their common interest. <laughs> Tap, tap, tapping my way downtown. Stomp, stomp, stomping my way downtown. <laughs> it's been a busy week. Whoa. <laughs> too many cocks, too little time. <laughs> <laughs> what is he, a farmer? No. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a guy with a powerful rod. <laughs> if you see me walking funny, just mind your business. <laughs> I told Stream you to get at. those. I told you to get those fissures checked out. <laughs> it's so salty. Well, that escalated quickly. Indeed, it did. All right. <clears throat> we'll pull up the Silver Surfer annual here too. Which, if you listen to part one, you know. Uh, Marvel Limited only has part one, which was the Hulk annual, and part four, the Doctor Strange annual on there. So I thought yeah. for the longest time, it seemed like they they were all or nothing there. Like for a crossover, mm. they either had every part or they had none of it. But I guess that's out the window. The hard way, yeah. yeah. It must say, it must have got some substandard uh, interns scanning that stuff mm. in anymore. They're telling us yeah. our mothers are whores. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Your business practices are whores. <laughs> The only sack I want to be in the face with. Money sack. <laughs> I don't do Twinkies or toaster strudels, so. Ah, euphemisms. All right. Yeah. Hold on. I got to find the Silver Surfer annual since Marvel didn't supply it. Mm. The poor Phil's gonna have to traverse on Mount, Mount Malware. I know, and then probably twenty pop ups Arr. will show up. Twenty pop ups. <laughs> Make sure you run a virus scan on your phone afterwards. <laughs> it, yeah, uh, well, basically, I'm on my tablet, and basically all I do is read comic, oh, comics on this anyway. You so yeah. you'll be all right. Yeah. Websites asking why the rum's always gone. <laughs> but what? Because <laughs> Lilith is there. Because Lilith loves her rum. <laughs> Uh, okay. I've got some rum at my house, so. All right, Silver Surfer Annual Five. I I love this. I love this uh, website though, because it gives you like the original uh, advertisements that were the in the ads. Yes, Encino Man. Encino Man. Oh yes. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you get and to see all the baseball card. Ads. Oh yeah, in 1992 is like all baseball yeah. card and video game was, ads. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big, you know oh, who, like, they, you know exactly video. who they were pandering to. Baseball card yeah. and video game ads and half naked drawn women. You know who they were yeah. pandering to. <laughs> yeah. The, in yeah. this one comic book, there's like five ads for baseball cards. It's ridiculous. Then there was the Marvel trading cards. Oh, oh, oh I yeah. still have some of those. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, lots of um, toy ads. There was lots of Dungeons and Dragons ads. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I always remember that one. It is like that red dragon coming out of the background i was like when i was reading comics i was like what is this dungeons and dragons thing is it a video game no it looks crazy it's a game inside your mind yes (laughs) it's the best game ever made game inside your mind in your friend's basement that's true (laughs) that's not the only thing in my basement whoa (laughs) All right, enough about rotting corpses. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, Silver Surfer Annual Five is Part Three: Return of the Defenders. Writer once again, Ron Mars. So he wrote. Uh, oh to- hell yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love Ron Mars. Yes, artist Tom yeah. Morgan, letterer. Our favorite Fridger. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, I I do genuinely love him. That's all right. I always make fun of, uh, even though we we talked to him before, Jerry Conway, that, you know, and Gwen Stacy and blondes going off bridges. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
That's the original <laughs> Fridger. Yeah, he's the original Fridger. <laughs> that rich white man, that rich white man, Norman Osborne, couldn't have no uh, young girl showing up saying, "Ah, oh, he knocked me up." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, we yeah. were at, we were at con that. I'm sorry, that was just one of his fantasies. Okay, yeah, he yeah, yeah. he 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 might have fridged her, but he sure didn't. Give her the old gobbler, gobbler, cobbler, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He didn't give her the old uh, goblin O face in that. Gobble, one. gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble. gobble. <laughs> uh, and pop, <laughs> plopped, out a, plopped out a couple of gray turds out of it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ch- Chasm and Goblin Queen. <laughs> out of the gooch. Is that who Chasm and Goblin Queen are? The no, Great Goblin? No, Chasm, oh, okay. Chasm is Ben Riley. Those That's right, bastards. yeah. Chasm. What yeah. a name, huh? Right Chasm now. and Goblin Queen. Oh, yeah, because she can goblin my queen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's getting, they, they, they renamed Ben Riley Chasm because the, what they've done to that character is a gaping hole. Yeah. It's like when they introduced Menace and I was thinking, you can have my penis. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet now. He's trying to create his own drops, kids. See, you can't just like, create a drop. You have no, to be... it's it's got to be in the moment. It has yeah, to be so... organic, yes. Exactly. Yeah. It has to be spur of the moment. Come on. I'm sure we've still gotten some good ones already, though. Yeah. Mm, I mean, I, with, well, with more to come, with more to come. See, there's mm-hmm. a drop right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I, yeah. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of drops, if you're friends with Justin on Facebook, he sure dropped a drop from ten years ago. Oh, uh, yo. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. His oh. his spread from Playgirl magazine. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, hanging that sh- ha- hanging on the Facebooks, hanging that shingle eye there, huh? Travelers welcome, huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Justin looks like the more attractive brother of the lead singer of Disturbed in that picture. <laughs> oh wow! Well, yeah. thank you. Oh my! <laughs> All you needed was like stupid, like lip ring and oh, uh, no, really no. a really bad goatee, and uh, yeah, no, we're not. We're not doing that. Oh. Oh shit! You know what? Now, now I'm gonna have to take that picture, save that picture, and make up like a fake album cover. Okay. <laughs> Come on, get up and get down with the dickness. <laughs> <laughs> What's the? Ah, oh, no, the name of the band's Biscuit Hunter. <laughs> Biscuit <laughs> for the 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 the, uh, the 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 uh the main track taste the biscuit <laughs> Bis- the remix Bis- biscuit probe whoa <laughs> aliens got nothing on me <laughs> i'll show you fire in the sky <laughs> Anyway, speaking of fire in the sky, yes, this opens up with a giant hand reaching out and grabbing the Silver Surfer. Mm, it looks like the Wild <laughs> One from the, the Incredible Hulk annual. Yes. <coughs> oh, I love these credits. Tom DeFelco, Sorcerer in Chief. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, DeFelco. But then, uh, yeah, we open up with that. Well, it. That that first page is a flashback to Silver Surfer explaining the Hulk and Doctor Strange what happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, these first couple pages are recaps of you know it's like well here's what, Silver Surfer here's what I was doing and Doctor Strange is like well here's what we've been doing here's what we were doing and the there's, Hulk there's and the a, Hulk's a, like I've a, lost a, another shirt <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not off. dressed like Kim Chi anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah you still got those uh, giant boots on though yes but they've changed color they're blue now uh, he's his Ugg boots. <laughs> <laughs> he got them apple bottom jeans. And the boots with the fur. <laughs> Smash it on the floor. <laughs> and Jennifer just comes in and is like, Bruce, what the fuck are you doing? Uh. 
So yeah, we're up to like page four, and then Doctor Strange is still recapping. Oh, there's basketball cards. Okay. Hmm. More basketball cards. Over ad. Yeah. Basketball is my favorite sport. I like to dribble up and down the court. And then I think this. <laughs> then I think this page has the most uh, print on it of any uh, oh, any in the, in the crossover. <laughs> his, yeah, his... it's a it's a it's basically a two page recap of the Namor annual. Oh, okay. Like, told within the eye of Agamotto. Man, we got a lot of, uh, we've got, you know, Agamotto and Agamemnon and... Uh, I I love uh, Silver Surfer says he's going to search the planet for them and then he comes back in like two seconds and he... And uh, he's like, no sign of them anywhere, sorry. And Hulk goes, that's impressive. Didn't do us any good, but it was impressive. Yeah. And then Surfer goes, thank you for your thoughtful comments. <laughs> well, how, hey, how about this, Norrin? How about you go check on that dude you left in space a couple years back, and you just let him there to rot away and die and suffer, and then yeah. you can come talk to me. Burn. In perpetual agony, yeah. Burn. Mm. So yeah, Doctor Strange's like, yeah, we have to focus all our energy in finding Namor. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so we're on page nine there. We're still standing around talking, and uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of conversation here in the beginning. But then they go, they he's like, oh, you know, well, the Hulk suggests talking to Delphi, which uh, Doctor Strange is like, that's an idea. So he sources up a portal, and uh, okay, and this one, Delphi is sitting there naked in front of her scrap yes. pool, so. For some reason, they wanted to edit it for the Incredible Hulk annual, but not for the Silver Surfer one, which is strange. Guess they thought more people were reading that one. Well, maybe. Uh, or was it a different yeah. editor? What well, maybe Defelco was like, "Nah, put in the naked broad." Yeah, care. put it. Yeah, chop, chop, it, <laughs> chop it on that cigar. Go, nah, I don't care. Put that naked broad yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally see it. Yeah, there's a, there's a total, like, almost ass shot of Delphi from behind. She's, like, sitting in front of the pool. Oh, yeah, because they, they just, like, shade the butt crack. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. They shade the butt crack. Yeah. <laughs> Her butt crack just doesn't exist. It's, yeah. uh, hey, the Hulk has no nipples and Delphi has no butt crack. <laughs> right? <laughs> What agony would that be? Oh, I can't man. shit! <laughs> hey, 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 if for some guys, that's the perfect woman. She does, she does, she oh, doesn't yeah. take a dump. Yeah. That's true, yeah. I forgot that boys think girls don't poop. Um, has, your, has your son brought that up yet, Phil? Is like, two girls poop? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You know, so, some some men don't like that. Meanwhile, wrestles in there with his fiance, going, "Oh, come on, honey, you can do it! Yeah, yeah, yeah!" <laughs> Push! <laughs> it's a two pound baby turd. <laughs> she just ate. <laughs> it's a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> now fish it out of the commode. <laughs> oh, God. oh God! It's still bouncing. <laughs> See, kids, when you think we're bad, it could be worse. Russell could be here every week. <laughs> oh, you, you, you wouldn't have any listeners at that point. Yes, we would. Yes, we would. No, no. Everyone comes for Justin every anyway. Remember, it's always you know, everyone Justin does and come that for other Justin. guy. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's never had that problem. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, he was in that early two thousands boy band. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, that album co that album Except cover's getting made. All right, all right. Except for that one time, I think Justin knows about that one time. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah well. Can't win them all. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I never have a hundred percent track record. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the guy hadn't come out yet. Maybe he was straight, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight, unquote, unquote. <laughs> oh, my. Jeez. All right. So after we talked to a naked Delphi with no butt, uh, <laughs> with no butthole, all right. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Strange hangs up the, uh, the, the mystical Zoom call, and then uh, he goes, we have a location. Uh, 
And then Hulk says, enough of the suspense. Where are we going? And Doctor Strange says, the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And then Hulk's like, how am I supposed to get there? Tread water? How about a lift, guys? <laughs> and then we see the bad guys. And I'm sure I'm sure page 16 is Justin's favorite because it's a chained mm-hmm. up uh, Rick mm-hmm. Jones Namor. Yeah, that's some Lord nice stuff. Right there. And this and this and this uh, young man it, has it, nipples. So. Yes, in the <laughs> Namor trunks too. He's wearing the Namor speedo. Feeling it out. How is Namor not like disregarding his duty right now to go after Delphi because she's blonde and she doesn't have a butt crack? So <laughs> the perfect woman for Namor. And she's yeah, her her powers. I mean, she's all she's near uh, like a small body of water when she's using her powers. So yeah, right. She never leaves that room. Like I've never seen her leave that room with the pool in it. I can't date you. You're not my cousin. <laughs> As we said on the first part, you know that whole yeah. pantheon thing is very incestuous. Yeah. Get off me, Dad! You're crushing my smokes. <laughs> Did George R. R. Martin create the, the painting? <laughs> oh, shut up. Peter David will come after him and be like, ah, I created that. <laughs> I remember years, of, ago, years ago when Charlie and I talked to Peter David and you know, he was talking about Spider Man 2099. He's like, I invented organic web shooters before they did. That movie did. <laughs> like 10 years before that movie did. <laughs> oh, God. Well, at least you didn't say the other 2099. We don't. Oh, well, yeah, and yeah, I want you to go in the convulsions again if I say Hulk 2099. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the whole episode, you open the episode, you're like, oh, I can't believe what Justin made me read. Is. <laughs> oh, I love the game of things. It's time to step through the green door. <laughs> Trust me, the whole episode's going to go this way because he made me read. Hulk 20 F and 99. Well, guess what? If we get one more patron on our show, we're doing the next part. Of oh, it. no. Yes. no. Yep. That's we're right. committed now if it happens. Russell's a whore. He'll do it for money, kids. Yes, yeah, Hulk 20 99. <laughs> Your mother's a whore. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get down on his knees and do that Hulk 20 99. <laughs> Your mother's a whore. <laughs> And Frank, Mi- <laughs> Frank Miller's like, I have no part of this episode. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lilith's not here. We've got to bring up Rob Liefeld. Rob Liefeld. Oh. Uh, Ooh, I, mean, I think she had enough of him last month. Yeah, that's all right. We only, we only got one more part of Heroes Reborn to do, and it's that Jim Lee Iron Man stuff. So, oh, yeah. right. Yeah. See, and nobody can actually walk in a Rob Liefeld comic because their feet don't exist. <laughs> Does it spin like ballerinas? I was going to say either that or they tip over because their feet are so small. <laughs> <laughs> they're just walking on stubs. <laughs> like They're like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then in that Rob Liefeld world, I don't know what's smaller on a woman, her feet or her waist. Oh, God. <laughs> Toothpick waist. You give her a hug, she's snapping in half. That's just... <laughs> A little bit of top heaviness going on there, too. <laughs> that waist shouldn't possibly support that rack. <laughs> oh, that's got to be a drop. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. So, all right. So the other three defenders make it to the middle of the Pacific where they were looking. Look, Hulk just, like, cruising on surfer's board. He's like, are we there yeah, yet? Looking very dejected. Are we there yet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Dr. Strange is like, no, they're under the water. And Hulk's like, oh, I didn't even know you meant uh, actually in the p- middle of the Pacific Ocean. So basically they drop Hulk in the ocean and he's like, blah, 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 blah. and then Dr. Strange, <laughs> Dr. Strange casts a spell so they can all breathe and talk underwater. <laughs> it's like the Aquaman movie where they uh, talk the, in those the air bubbles. bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that was clever. Uh, well, I guess uh, you're gonna do. You're gonna watch a whole two hour plus movie of people going. <laughs> <laughs> Subtitles for everything. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to pick on Amber Heard, but didn't that movie shit the bed? <laughs> <laughs> I actually really liked that movie. <laughs> 
I thought that was one of the better outputs from DC <laughs> in the last few years. You know what? You know what? I actually liked most of the movie. I said the only person I didn't like was Jason Momoa. So it's like I liked the whole movie except for the main character. Yeah. <laughs> Something stinks. <laughs> oh, change them sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Depp's used to getting sucked into a bed, so it's like... <laughs> With his fake French accent. <laughs> oh. I remember remember when you were on TV, boy, you didn't have that French accent. <laughs> yeah. 21 Jump Street. Jeez. 21 Jump Street, that's right. Uh, oh, yeah, and then there's some kind of impenetrable field around the base, <laughs> so the defenders are trying to get through there. Uh Eventually they, they do. Doctor Strange through. is like, I can't get us in. And uh, the Hulk says, buck up, Steve. There's a lot to be said for sheer brute force taken from a man who knows. <laughs> He's bashing on the side of the thing. But then they just, uh, it opens up. And they're like, I assume we're being invited. And Shanzar is there with uh, Lucian Astor. And he says, welcome. I was beginning to think I would have to raise a beacon for you to find me. Mm. Oh, yeah, to get the whole, we're on the cusp of a golden age, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it waits for the wild, uh, the body of the wild one imprisoned here millennia ago by Neptune the Olympian. It waits for the wild one's essence to be called back from beyond so that his dark majesty may claim this plane as his own. Mm. Ooh, dark majesty. And then they just throw a bunch, of, <laughs> a bunch more demons at the defenders. Yeah, all these people have been turned into demons and have become Shanzars. Well, yeah, at, fir at first, Doc at first, Doctor Strange is like, hold back, because, you know, they're transformed innocent people. But then at some point, mm -hmm. Doctor Strange is like, wait a minute. He's like, I'm telling you, he, he says, uh, their human souls are completely gone. The demonic presences have consumed them. So there is no turning mm -hmm. them back. So he's like, Hulk, you can, you can cut loose now. Yeah, they are forever lost. Uh... So the Hulk says, that's what I thought you meant. He goes, watch me, boys. I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's thrashing all those demons. Mm -hmm. And together they're able to make a, to fight off the demonic horde together. Yeah, they they vanquish them. Uh, but then, uh, yes, the, uh, what, uh, Sh what's his name? Shazar? Or, uh, Shanzar. Shanzar, yeah. Conjures some kind of mystic blade and stabs the surfer. Yeah. Cause I guess, actually wounds him. Yeah, because yeah. he starts, he's like bleeding out his mouth and wherever else. And I guess that's what they needed was the surfer's blood. Because mm -hmm. everyone goes, runs to the surface. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, but they free Rick Jones' name more. Uh, but then they're like, oh, we got, uh, <clears throat> oh, here's the wild one in his flying, uh, red uh, convertible. Yes, here he comes. He goes, let's get. Busy. That's wow. the wild one, just uh, Russell. <laughs> Boy, he's wild like an animal. Yeah. Oh Lord, did you see the license plate on the front of the car? Justin says, "Oh you devil." Oh you devil. Yeah. Oh boy. Letter O, letter U, devil. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this agent of chaos looks like Fonzie or something. You know. <laughs> yeah, he does. This is a powerful demonic force. Looks like. Uh, Somebody who should be revving up his engine in 1955. Well, if he's ever in the MCU, we can get Peter, or not Peter, we can get Henry Winkler to play him. Mm, the wild one. So, where, uh, ba -ba -ba. yeah, so they go, where, wait, I was going to say, where are they going? Was it, wasn't it Hawaii? Oh, yeah, the, he's headed for the Hawaii, Hawaiian Hawaii. Islands, yeah. Yeah. Because they chase him down there and then. They get to the island, and it, he's just sitting there with all these demons and fire. And he's like, welcome to Fantasy Island. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's sitting there with an umbrella and a drink, and everything's on flames around him. He's surrounded by more demons. His car is parked right there. Yeah, it's... And that's where it leaves off. Mm-hmm. Yep. To be continued in the Doctor Strange annual. Concluded, yeah. Huh. And then the backup, the first backup story, you want to guess, guess what it is, Russell? Is it top ten villains? The Silver Surfer's greatest <laughs> foes, as brought All to right. you, as brought to you by Pip the Troll. <laughs> All right, wow! All right, so here I go. I'm gonna okay. guess. So this All is right. Silver Surfer, and this is '92, mm -hmm. right? All right. 
So I'm going to guess since it was 92 that Morgue is not on the list. Uh, or Tyrant. I think they came in 93. No. I yeah. think they came in 93. Yeah. Okay. So that evens it up or that, you know. All right. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Thanos. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, Mephisto. Yes. You just did one and two. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Lord Reptile. Captain or Reptile, yep. Captain is, Reptile. Um, five, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I really got to think about this. Uh, Galactus? Yep. Number, Number three. three. Okay. Doctor Doom? No. no. Ooh, okay. I thought maybe, you know, stealing your powers would constitute hmm. you being on the top ten list. Okay, here's, yeah. a, here, here, here's a clue. Stay more current than 1992, I'd say. Yeah. I might be I might be tapped out. Um oh, well a few of these are pretty obscure too yeah. on this list. Okay. Well number ten is so weird because uh Pip even says, I don't know who this broad is and the editor's note says, but you can find out in Silver Surfer sixty six on sale in two weeks. Oh yeah. so it's a new character. Yeah. Like, right, okay. yeah. It's some dark haired woman and they're just like, Oh, who is it? I don't know. Check no, out Silver Surfer in two weeks. You gotta read read this and find out. And then, uh, is is Terax on there? No. Oh, okay. Which is strange too. Yeah. I don't even know number nine, the collection agency. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember them either. Some kind of mercenaries right. or They're something. T- yeah. Type- I but, give yeah. up. I give up. Uh, okay, so, so ten was that that woman. Nine was the collection agency. Mm-hmm. Uh, eight is the collector. Okay. Um, seven is the champion, who was another elder. Oh nurse. yeah, yeah. The dude with the wrestling belt. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Um, six is Midnight Sun. Do you remember that guy? That's... He's got the dinner plates on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and the fedora that, hat. And yeah, the, that guy. Kind of? Kind yeah, he, of. he didn't appear a whole lot, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, five was Captain Reptile. Four is The Stranger. Okay. Uh, three is Galactus, two is Mephisto, and number one is Thanos. Yeah. All right. Well, I got what you I did got, good. I yeah. got four of them. Three. Yeah. Of them. Yeah, you did good. <laughs> and then the next one is, uh, oh Lord, uh, it's a Fire Lord story where he basically uh, yelling at Nebula because mm. she destroyed his planet, but she's like, oh, that that shouldn't get on our way here. Let's uh, let's get it on. <laughs> yeah, let's get it on. Yeah. I mean, she's locked up in prison, but you know, of course, the the uh, outfit she's wearing is very tight. So, mm-hmm. and this is before Nebula was burned up by Thanos. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't she, look like. Yeah, no, uh, she's not. She's not a cyborg. And again, yeah. back then, she wasn't Thanos's daughter. She was like the his granddaughter, right? It's like I, I, don't th- I well, think it was even further than that. I think it was like a grand niece or something. It was. Oh, okay. It was like yeah. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, it was it was kind of weird. Yeah, and she she briefly gets the gauntlet during the mm-hmm. story. Yeah. Yeah. Gauntlet, yeah, yeah, love that. But they just showed like yeah, she was like abused in childhood and stuff, and, mm-hmm. and it's like oh, I guess we can't completely blame her for killing a whole planet because she was abused as a child. It's like yeah. <laughs> That one's good too. That's another uh, Ron Mars script. Now, was one. was this like before he took over the series full time, or is this was he writing the series right now? I think he was writing the series then, or I, th- I think he might have been. Or yeah. maybe he had just started. Yeah, because okay. I think Jim Starlin had left by that point. Because we're yeah. right, or it must be around issue sixty. Because it said that uh, on that female, it said, uh, "Oh, check out you know who this is in Silver Surfer sixty six in two weeks." So. And the last annual was written by both Starlin and Mars. Like the last annual right. we read on the show. Yeah. So yeah, life form. Yeah, like yeah. Two, two years before this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, is that the last the story? So we get a bunch That's of the pin, last one. get a bunch of pinups after that. Yeah, some gorgeous pinups. There's a John Buscema, a Jim Lee. Is there a Delphi <laughs> one? <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Uh, she's not wearing that magenta bodysuit in this. Yeah. 
Jim uh, Starlin did a pinup and um, Ron Lim. Yeah, some great, great little pinups. Oh, yeah, Ron Lim's like a double page, yeah. Yeah, it's all of the uh, Heralds of Galactus at that point. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like here, oh here's something that looks good. Uh, the uh, subscription page. When the member we used to get these, Justin, a subscription yep. page. Oh, yes. Page. Yeah. Pay as low as 96, 96 cents, cents a copy. Let's see if I can show Russell this. Oh. This yeah, look at that. I love it. I. I'm, they have made a figure of everyone on that page except for um, Airwalker. Airwalker. Yeah, Airwalker. Who uh, I we, love. We need an Airwalker figure. We do. I'll buy it. If you make it, I'll buy it, Marvel. You listening? I've got the Frankie Ray. I've got Morg, who wasn't even in that picture. Uh, Terax, uh, Fire Lord, Surfer. I just need. So come Airwalker. on, so come on, Marvel. Give him what he needs. Airwalker, Texas Ranger. Come on. <laughs> this is the um, John Buscema one. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you, you guys should definitely, if you ever do the um, what is that story called? Um, oh, the one right after that is good too, Justin. The mm. the surfer. It's something to do. So it's the Herald. Um, the Herald ordeal. Silver Surfer that's story. It. Yeah. Um, where they're all teaming up to, yeah, they're all, they're all all the heralds team up to fight Morg and Galactus. Mm. That's one of my favorite stories. If you ever do that on Marvel Tales, I'm in. Nice. Oh, yeah, we'll have to do some Silver Surfer. Yeah. Hell yeah, I, I love yeah. that Herald ordeal, especially story. that awesome. 90s stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's one of my favorites too. Yeah, and it's not a part of that, but Ron Mars did write it. The uh, the one off during Infinity Gauntlet where he battles the Rhino. He's oh crazy. yeah, that's a great yeah. issue. That's a great. It issue. Is. Anyway, I've, I'm not hijacking anymore. But <laughs> bull. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just pulling up uh, my copy. I'm uh, trying to find Doctor Strange Annual Two here. Oh yeah, this, Oh no, wait. This I'm, one is on the. App. Oh yeah, it is on the app. Yeah, so I was about. This to one do. is on the app. Do it on that. On the. Uh, you think Marvel Limited. Website? Yeah. Do we have Do we have a synopsis for this one, Phil? I don't. Th- let me double check. I think I, I'm pretty sure the only one that had a synopsis was the Hulk annual. Uh, I think I'll do a lot better on the top ten villains with this one because I've read a lot more Doctor Strange. Mm, I think you will too. I think you'll get most of them. Yeah. No. The only the, really the only thing they give you is like the uh, you know the the ad the advertisement the Defenders face off against the Wild One Shanzar and Lucian Aster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lucian Aster is such a we need a demonic sounding name yeah. uh, I guarantee you he changed it he wasn't born Lucian Aster oh man there's, I'm looking at these credits there's a lot of alphabet soup here uh, oh yes yeah, yeah, no, writers Roy Thomas uh, penciler MC Wyman inker E.R. Cruz uh Color, colors Kevin Tinsley, letterer Michael Higgins, and editors Mike Rockwitz and Barry Dutter. I have to say, because, you know, again, it's only a four-issue crossover instead of, like, the big ones. But, I don't know, sometimes on a crossover, if you, when you have different writers, sometimes stuff gets lost or just veers off the map. But I think mm-hmm. we had three different writers, and I think they did a good job at, like, keeping a coherent mm-hmm. story. Keeping, your, yeah. yeah, a nice flow to the story. But again, there's only four parts and all like yeah, that twenty two part you know, like Atlantis yeah. Attacks or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah, these smaller events are way better, I think, like in the I long run. So like yeah. Well I think I think they learned their lesson because it was like the full, first year they did Evolutionary War, then they did what was it, Atlantis Attacks and mm-hmm. Did they only do and the two yeah. big ones, or was there another one? But after the, that, Inferno, X, uh, X of Vengeance. That, well, for, Inferno actually wasn't in annuals; it was like in X books. It was and then like, it's just, just spilled yeah. out to everyone's book. It yeah. was more like X of Vengeance. Yeah, X of Vengeance was just regular books too. But as yeah. far as annual events goes, I think Atlantis Attacks is still the the biggest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and, I, but then, like, thankfully, they just started to do like X Men had their own events mm-hmm. where they were mm-hmm. just like Executioner's <laughs> Song and. You know, right? And the Avengers follow, had follow their own the event. mutants, yeah. Or or, yeah. The, or they just started like pairing people together for like randomly because like life form like, and like their life form, yeah. or or like you remember the system bites wrestles like Wonder Man's annual. I, Death I have Lock. some of the, oh. I have some of the system bites ones. Wonder uh, Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. 
I love it. That's so funny when you had, had like Guardians of the Galaxy to one of those crossovers because it's like, okay, our menace is going to go to sleep for a thousand years and then rear its head again. <laughs> yes. In an alternate timeline, no less. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. I don't know. It's almost hard. It's harder to find stuff on the actual Marvel app than it is. Uh... But Russell, we have a great um, opening two-page oh, spread yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. The Defenders coming into conflict with the Wild One, Shanzar, and Lucian Astor with a horde of demons. Hot spell. Yeah. And uh, the Wild One's just sitting there chilling and with a, in a lawn yeah. chair with a drink. He's not even mm. bothered that the Defenders are rushing in to attack him. Wow. Okay, I'm there. Mm. Hulk's still in those shorts, although they look more like swim trunks now. Yeah, he's steadily lost more and more. Let's go he's for a the, dip! He's got those big boots on still. Those big boobs. <laughs> big boots. See, king, see yeah. kingpin, kingpin class? Kingpin just hears that. Oh. <laughs> What's your cup size? A, B, C, D, or kingpin? <laughs> It's Z. <laughs> K for Kingpin. Uh, but yeah, Doctor Strange is like, oh, we have to win, and you know, or else it's all or nothing. And Hulk's like, Hulk's like, oh, we gotta try. Uh, but yeah, so basically, the wild ones that activated extinct volcanoes and it's turning people mm. into demon slaves. Uh, yeah. He's trying to precipitate, of course, so. Massive worldwide apocalypse, of course, as yeah. demonic. And the defenders are the defenders are basically trying to tell Lucian and uh, you know the uh, Shanzar. Shanzar. It's like, what, what do you think is going to be left after he does this? You know, you're going to be presiding over nothing. Mm, mm-hmm. And Namor in Rick's body launches himself at Shanzar, punching it out with his own body. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, it's a big fight scene, and then the others are Bat, Hulk, and Doctor Strange are fighting demons, and oh, and the server. Mm. Yep. Mm. But, oh, these are newly uh, possessed people, so he's like, you know, take it easy, because we can change these ones back. Right. These ones can still be saved, so don't, yeah, don't kill them all. Uh, the, the wild one uh, reaches into a portal and grabs this f- flaming guitar, pulls it out of the <laughs> portal. <laughs> I know. Uh, and aims it at none other than Lucian Astor. He's like, he's like, you want to know something, Astor? You're really starting to get on my nerves. I think maybe I'll zap you before I do them. Uh, oh, and then Shanzar zaps Namor at one point, and Rick Jones is back in charge. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a good like three panel scene where like the Hulk's just coming at the wild wild one and like none of the demons can like slow him down. They just, they're all powing yeah. on him and he's just trudging he's through. Just shrugging them off, yeah, like insects. He's, he's juggernauting his way through there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. Mm-hmm. I love how the Hulk says, I got an idea, wild man. How about you stick your head between your legs and kiss your butt goodbye and <laughs> <laughs> the wild <laughs> The wild one goes, cool image, Hulkster, and unlike most mortals, I could actually do that if the mood struck me. <laughs> I love that line so, from the Hulk. So if he's that flexible, why is he leaving the house? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, but that stupid guitar. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange prevents the wild one from killing Aster with a spell. He shields him, uh, but at the cost of of himself, the the feedback from the spell um, knocks out Doctor Strange temporarily. Oh yeah, you get to s- and to save Doctor Strange, Hulk picks up Silver Surfer and whips him at the Wild One. <laughs> he hurls him at him. Yeah, he said, "Come here, Surfy." <laughs> and Surfer goes, "You, you, know, you could have hurled yourself at him." And Hulk says, "Nah, I got my new spandex, and I didn't want to screw it." <laughs> <laughs> This Hulk's a fashion plate. Uh, the the wild one summons his his crazy car, which comes along and, and rams into the Hulk and the rest of the defenders all at once. It now kind of looks like a Porsche. It has the roof and everything. Yeah, it's metamorphosed a little bit since the last issue. Mm, but yeah, then they wake up. Uh, 
Is that Shanzar's dimension? I forget. Is that Shanzar's dimension? They wake up in another dimension and Namor's yeah. looking Namor again. Yeah. Namor's looking like Namor, but meanwhile, Shanzar's still looking like Namor, too. So, mm, It's a little confusing. Because yeah. him and Aster are basically locked in this dimension with a bunch of demons. Yeah. Mm. Actually, this may be the realm that the Wild One came from. Yeah. Yeah. But they all basically come to a truce that they you know, try to defeat the Wild One. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even Shanzar realizes that what he has unleashed cannot be controlled, and if he ever wants to uh, do anything of import on this planet, there has to be something left for it. And this time, it seems like Surfer has, I mean, Namor has his body back, but now Rick Jones is in charge of Namor's body. Mm. Boy, mm-hmm. boy, boy, the job Justin dreams about being in charge of Namor's body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a dab here. He's got to ins- he's, he's got to inspect every last molecule. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Up close and personal. Are those ankle wings? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I have to step out a moment. I've been feeling a little HRD. H A R D. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the hard master. <laughs> Honk if you're horny. <laughs> Sex on the mind. Ray's like, I don't care. Just don't play the Batman draw. <laughs> Anything but that. Uh, so yeah, they're all teaming up on the wild on the wild one, and he. He's zapping them all, but then when he zaps Doctor Strange, no, it's actually uh, Lucian Astor. Mm-hmm. So it's a yeah, he hits him with what he thinks is a lethal blast. Yeah, they kind of throw the wild one into Shanzar's dimension. Because uh, remember, it's composed of e- ultra-dense material. Uh, mm-hmm. And Shanzar actually kind of looks like himself, I guess, in, this, in his own dimension. He's got like pointed ears and long hair and looks more kind of demonic and then shanzar and dr strange team up to cast spells on uh the wild one and so basically he's getting crushed by the forces of this dimension <laughs> and warped exactly yeah. but then shanzar's playing it in a double cross but then it's like no 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 there's the rest of the defenders so yep they basically all just blast them or punch them uh, blast them and punch them and just sodomizing them all <laughs> <laughs> that too <laughs> Uh, just for good measure. <laughs> but, I mean, eventually Shanzar agrees to, like, lock the dimension and stuff, and mm-hmm. so the Wild One can't he, get out. Yeah. He realizes he can't beat them, uh-uh. and he can't really do anything more uh, to them, so he just agrees to send them home. So they all come fly. The defenders come flying out of this portal, and I love uh, Hulk is, or is it Hulk what, or Surfer. One of them saying, "What's with the rough landing?" And Namor says, "Shanzar's dense dimension spat us out like seeds." <laughs> yeah, and uh, the the islands are going back to normal now that the wild one is gone, and all the people are changing back to normal from de- demons, and. <laughs> Uh, Hulk, Hulk slaps uh, Rick Jones on the back. Uh, he says, "The defenders were the greatest, right, Subby?" And he and he sends him flying into the sand. It turns out that uh, it's not Namor anymore; it's Rick Jones. Oh yeah, because it's probably because of the ongoing book. Because I think they mentioned it might have mentioned this in the Hulk annual, where it's like Namor was like wandering around with amnesia, but now that everything's mm-hmm. back to normal, I guess he's they don't know where he's at, but he's at back out there wandering around with amnesia. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So that's basically the end, with just with Hulk and Rick leaping to the airport or whatever. Yeah, and then Silver Surfer takes off, and Steven's the only one left. Oh yeah, and the Pantheon were burning all the uh, spell bo- the spelling made easy or whatever books. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> all the <laughs> all the copies are gone. Yeah. Oh, did you catch the typo though? Because uh, Hulk's talking about, hey, it'll be good to see Betty again, and Rick says, yeah, now that Marla is back, oh, the Marla, he calls her Marla. Ooh. I'm like, oh, oh, forgot your wife's name. Oh, oh that's fifty lashes. <laughs> He's sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Marla, damn. 
Roy Thomas not doing his homework. Like, who the hell is Marla? <laughs> oh, baby, I swear, there's the Submariner in my head. Oh. <laughs> I could go with somewhere, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me it'd be a Justin joke, eh? <laughs> it's so salty. Whoa! It's so salty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seawater, sea yeah. Couple of balls down the gob. <laughs> Couple of balls down the gob. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty damn big. <laughs> How big it is. To rhyme those, those crushing ocean depths. It's a lot of meat. Sucking the life force. <laughs> I haven't heard that one for a long time. I know. <laughs> Sucking the life force. <laughs> Boy, all these drops from Ray. Go ahead, throw it in. I love, I love it. Tricky Dicky. <laughs> the big bazooka. They big units. They're all dick jokes. I know. Sausage. That's what I said. He's not the high priest of conchu. He's the high priest of sausage. Sausage. The hard master. Exciting times to be a pimp. All right. So, all right. So, what did we all think of the main story? I liked it. I liked the art actually a lot. It kind of reminded me of John Buscema a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. In places. Yeah. I mean, well, it sounded like a blast. And, and uh, Russell, you'll never guess what the first backup is. Top oh, yeah. ten Doctor Strange villains, and I swear you every every annual ninety two did this because Armor City was uh, ninety two, right, uh, Justin? Yeah. Did last time, yeah, and it was. those all had top ten. That must have been the theme for ninety two or something. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look up the Spider Man annuals because I wonder, like, uh, oh. were they like, here's well, my, here's a top ten villains, here's more vi- ten villains, here's, here's more, more top, top ten, ten villains. I was gonna say they did the top ten villains in the, his Atlantis Attacks annual. They could have did uh, like Spider Man. Yeah, I know, yeah. but he always had at least three annuals a year. He could have done yeah. thirty villains. Yeah, right. All right, so I got to put my thinking cap on. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> I think there's some no brainers here. Obviously, Dormammu. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Baron Mordo. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nightmare. Yep. Uh, Umar. Yep. Uh, okay. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. Um, I don't know if he'd be on the list, but I'll throw him out there. Uh, Dweller in Darkness. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, yep. All right. Um, ooh. Let's see. Oh, damn. Got some funky names here. Yeah. Um, I'll give you a clue about one of these, Russell, and see if your memory's working. One of these is a character that we were going to do a Tomes of Evil spotlight on at one point. I cannot remember his name. I cannot remember his name. It's Earthona. Yes. Damn. I can I could see him, but I couldn't um you know what, let me just Oh, I thought I thought it would have been a a certain other character. Uh Okay. That's not helping me at all back there. Um, whoa! 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 I don't know if he'd be on the list because I don't I think anybody knew his name. I don't think anybody knew his name until later, but I will say Caecilius. Uh-uh. No. Okay. All right. Um, damn. Oh, um, Silver Dagger. Yes. Yes. Okay. Whew. How okay. many more are left? One, <laughs> I'd say one, two, uh, three, four. Three. Four, I think. I think three more. They uh, don't just list, like, the mindless ones as a villain. No. 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 Okay. No. Okay, here's a clue. One of them is related to someone you already you already named. Huh. Well, I said Baron, or uh, not Baron, I said um, Umar and Dormammu. Those mm. Oh, no, no, wait, never mind. You did say Umar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah never mind. Um, is, is there, is Dracula one? No, no but close. Close. Baron Close. Blood? <laughs> no. Um, 
Think uh, older. Think older than Dracula. Varney? Yes! yes! Varney, okay. Yeah. So, yep. um, Basically, you only got two left, all right. Think uh, Big Eye. Shumagorath. Yes. Yep. And now, uh, now you only need number four. No, it's that high on the list, too. Yeah. Um, is Doom. Can, wait, you cut out. What'd you say, Doom? He has a Doom? No. no. Okay. That's his go-to. I'm, I might do. think... Uh, well, demonic, I mean, he... he demonic he, villain. Demonic villain. Think more than one. Mephisto. Yeah, now I'm surprised, but no. But, no, um, actually, he's not on this list, is he? Yeah. Demonic Doctor Strange villain. Think more than one face. Mm, two faces, yeah. Two faces. And one of them's not on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 can, I don't know. Satanish. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's got a he's got a face in his belly. Yeah, yeah. of course. Damn, I did good though. You did really good, especially Silver Dagger. Yeah. Oh, this this annual is on the app. So, Russell, you should read this because guess who's in the next backup? Who? Oh, Rintra. Oh, Rintra, my yeah, guy. It's a, it's a Roy Thomas story, Rintra. It's and it's great favorite, too. It's a great one of my there's favorite a, idiots. <laughs> there's even a, a panel with Rom in in a flashback. Ooh, that Rom's had to be bag. that had to be cutting it close then. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know. They, I'm surprised this was actually on there. I know, like yeah, 90, 92? I'm Like they still had yeah. the rights to that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think they just they just put that one in there. You know, they they weren't checking <laughs> to see if they still had those rights. Oh, I can't wait for next year, man. We're going to cover some of that when those ROM the buses come out. Yeah. Yes. That's going to be so good. Now I want to do a whole show where I we just look at those annuals from this year and I try to name the top 10 villains. <laughs> <laughs> There's still probably going to be a half a dozen more of them from 92. Oh, next time we do annuals, yeah, we should let Russell know. And he, you can even send in feed. You can either join us or send in feedback. Be like, okay, here's my top 10 guesses. Uh yeah, just yeah, shoot yeah. me an just shoot me an email like who the hero is, and yeah. I'll just yeah, yes. Oh yeah, I'll tell you the, what the I love is. That. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, is it Doom? <laughs> <laughs> he could literally be on every he list. I know. He could, <laughs> and he should be. All right, yeah. he should be. Well, see, um, the the Hulk one was a little strange because it wasn't just villains. It was you know. Wolverine was on there. The thing was thing, on there, yeah. and himself, himself, was humanity yeah. was on there. Yeah. Greatest adversaries of the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, and then the next backup, but we get another Baron Blood story. But this one yes. is Doctor Strange's brother. Yeah, mm-hmm. the the other Baron Blood. Yeah, and his uh, his uh, lingerie loving girlfriend. Yeah, yes, oh boy, yeah. steamy, steamy. Again, two, one, in this crossover, two barren blood backups and both have half naked women in them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing revs a uh, woman's engine like a vampire, I guess. Yeah. That's right. Especially a vampire in spandex. That, that is the thing, unless you're Varney. Suck, suck. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody, ain't nobody slobbering over old Nosferatu over there. <laughs> no. uh, I don't know, man. There's always, there's always, there's always some freak, yeah, in the, whatever. Oh, there, yeah. there's, there's a woman I work with that has an unnatural, very sexual tense relationship with Freddy Krueger, and Ooh, okay. and I, I don't mean like Robert England. I mean. Freddy Krueger character himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like, all right, lady. I don't. You stay away from me. That's yeah. that's. <laughs> so so she literally took it as one two. Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> one two. Freddy's coming in you. Right? <laughs> Just three four. Better lock that back door. <laughs> Keep going. I think Justin's about to fall in that chair. Five, six, grab a big dick. (laughs) Time for Phil's favorite game. Knock Justin out of that chair. One of these days we're going to do it, Philip. We're going to knock him out of that chair. I know. It's going to happen. I know it is. I thought, uh, 
<laughs> I thought mentioning big penis would have locked him out of that chair. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Quick, Justin, look behind you. It's a cock. <laughs> 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 oh, and then they, then the next backup. Uh, oh, and again for the second time in this crossover, we get a uh, woman in the bathtub. But this time, yes, it's Clea. It's Clea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do love Clea. Yeah, this is a good little backup with her too. So yes, you get some Clea cleavage if you're into that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, nothing like a busty warlord. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> She's rocking those 90 shoulder pads in this one, though. Oh, yeah, she wearing that mm. purple outfit, yeah. Yeah. Charlize Theron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see that by 2027, probably. That's, they, ne- that's yeah. a strike yeah. and stuff, yeah. That, that's never coming out. <laughs> we'll have to do an animated one. She can just do the voice. Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah, that's that's all your annual. We reached and- we reach the end of Return of the Defenders. Woo! Woo! So, what what are your overall thoughts, guys? I liked it. I mean, the story, like I said, it was a cohesive story. Even though we had three writers, and uh, I mean, all the art was good. I would say, I mean, the Doctor Strange one was probably the weakest art for me. But I, again, mm-hmm. it still wasn't. It wasn't bad. But it, it's like that Gene Colan one well, from Armor City. It's like. It wasn't bad, but it's like I I it don't understand why the, you would end the crossover on that art. Mm, right, it didn't fit the, the, the flow of the rest. I don't know. Of it, for, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I you know I only read the one and had the other ones told to me, but it sounded like a really fun story. Mm. Um, lots of goofiness, like the good kind of goofiness. Yeah. Um, and um, the got- villain seemed like a hoot. No pun intended, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I didn't offend your people. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, not at all. Not at all. But no, it sounded like fun. And um, I mean, the panels you guys showed me look really cool. Hulk rampaging through those demons was amazing. Got, got a lot um, of sassy Hulk in this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had some great sass in this. Yeah. It sounds like fun. I mean, I, I wish I could have read the whole thing. But <laughs> again, you could read the last part. Yeah. A- yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you ever see it in the dollar bin, I'd. I'd pick up because I think you'd like some of the backups too in some mm. of these. Yeah, yeah. I well, I mean, I I'd, I'd buy them just for those top ten villains things. Oh, in the true. Back. Yeah. But um, yeah, do you remember Phil? Who the Spider Man ones were? No, no, no. Oh no. my god! I don't remember they either. they like so. This was early nineties, so you know. But yeah, no. they they had the burglar on there. The uh, burglar, God, yeah. yeah, and I think it's coming back to me. Yeah, was this and, in the Atlantis Attacks annual? Yep. Yeah, and number two was Doc Ock, and number one was a tie. Oh, really? Between, between the Green Goblin and the Hobgoblin. Oh, who's writing this? You? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you think about it, we're coming off the '80s when the Hobgoblin actually meant something. Oh yeah, True. And, that was that was what ninety nineteen ninety was Atlantis Attacks annuals. Yeah, I think yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Venom had Venom had showed up though. Yeah, I don't know if Venom was on the list. Wow. Um, if he was, he was like towards the back which is crazy well that's like when they that's like when they like were still taking it easy on venom he'd show up like once a year and yeah yeah Yeah. i preferred that to be honest and and definitely carnage wasn't around yet um i'm sure i'm sure mysterio and electro and craven were i don't even think kingpin was on the list and that's i mean i sure i know kingpin's more associated with daredevil now but Uh Started in Start, Spider-Man. Started out as a Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. I bet the Vulture's on that list. I'm sure he is, yeah. That would be funny if they did, like, the ten bustiest Spider-Man villains and it was all <laughs> women and then Kingpin and it was, like, number one. Yeah. <laughs> you've got Scream and you've got... <laughs> the White uh, Rabbit. White oh, Rabbit. Yeah. And, uh, Menace and Lady Octopus. <laughs> and then there's Kingpin right there. Goblin Queen. No, Goblin Queen, yeah. Um, 
I don't know if you count Silver Sable as a villain. She's not really a villain, but um, well, no. oh no, they didn't She's... even do the top ten. They did the top thirty. I'm looking at this. Oh, that's right. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, because they did a couple top like each, they did like a couple each page. It, it was like Fred. It was a like Fred. Oh, Fred Hembeck oh, yeah. art. Yeah. Wow. Fred Hembeck. Oh my god. Because yeah, to talk, you know. And oh the, yeah. The first one was Red Skull. I'm like, oh my lord. Yeah. That's. Oh. <laughs> You killed my what? Man, dirty rat. It was number thirty, and then number nine, number twenty nine was cr- was a crime master. Yeah. Oh my crime god. Master. Is is Mister Big on there or uh... <laughs> Man Mountain Marco? Man Mountain Marco. <laughs> Sin Eater's twenty eight. Oh lord. Oh god. Fourteen to Wolf. Spider Slayer is probably on there, right? Yeah. Um, uh, looking. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Cyborg Silvermane's on there. Uh, oh god. Number- so, yeah. I, I bet sh- I bet Shocker didn't even make the list. Uh, a, a, no, Shocker is on there. Shocker is on there. Okay, good. He, he's good. number th- number twenty four is Shocker. Wow, I bet the Beatles on there. Uh, I'm not. Oh, you know what? I don't think he's on here. Uh, what oh, Jack O' Lantern. <laughs> oh no, uh, number twenty one. One of your the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut. Oh, okay. The sp- yeah, yeah. You, because when I think of one Spider-Man really villains, I think story. of Juggernaut. You had one really famous story where you fought the Juggernaut, so that's we're just going to throw them on there. Okay, they're yeah. not even trying. Number 20, the human fly. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Carrion, the jackal, of course. Oh. Tarantula, rhino, puma. Ah, I love puma. puma. Lizard, electro, mysterio, sandman. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Number sixteen is that number sixteen? Oh wait, no, uh, no number ten. J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, oh well, well sense. number nine was the burglar. I'll accept that. Nine was the yeah. burglar. Number eight was Venom. Oh, eight. Why? Maybe because he was so new. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. okay, so okay, so here are the guys who who were higher up on the list at you know, you know, closer to number one over Venom, Scorpion, Vulture. Oh, here we go. Number five, Doctor Doom. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There he is. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Number four, his busty self. Kingpin is on the list. Number four. Oh, number okay. four. Okay. All, right. All right. Oh, my Lord. Number three, Craven. What? Yeah. Well, last oh, well this was re- this was after. Yeah, this was a f- just a couple of years after that. Craven's so that- last hunt. So maybe they're just kidding. Like, ah, hey, he's yeah. dead. Let's, go. Let's like, give him yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, two was Doc, Doc was Ock, like story. you said. And then yeah. number one was both goblins. Yeah. Oh man, I guess Demo Goblin wasn't around yet. No, 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 not during. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because again, this was the Atlantis attacks, the Amazing Spider-Man annual. So, yeah, that list has come a long way yeah. in thirty years. <laughs> Twenty-seven Hammerhead. Oh God, <laughs> Hammerhead. <laughs> the old Maggie. Tombstone. Uh, Tombstone's not on this list either. No, it's Chameleon, <sighs> Hydro Man. I can name everyone else. Well, the funny thing is, you, you. you you could have had three different Green Goblins on that list. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Norman, Harry, and Bart Hamilton. Yeah. Old Bart. Good old Dr. Bart. <laughs> no Bart. Well, they, they, oh, was no no Man Wolf on the list, no, right? No, no. No Man Wolf. No Sabretooth. Oh, they were saving Sabretooth for the X-Men. I mean, you know, you know they yeah. were. Yeah. Or at least the Wolverine yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, if Wolverine had his own... Yeah. All right. Well, so we talked. That was fun, guys. That's what yeah. we should do. We should do the list. Take all all the angels with top ten villains and be like, okay, in nineteen ninety two, here was the top one hundred and fifty <laughs> villains of our. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I bet whole episode just on that. I mean, I would be so happy about that. It'd oh, be like a, we got to talk Lilith into doing a salty and petty when she gets back. Oh yeah, it'd be like Super- a game show for me. Yeah, superhero trivia night. I'd love that. Uh, spin. Trying to think, oh, like, spin the wheel. Be like, okay, uh, Russell, guess uh, Captain America's number six uh, top ten villain. Oh, well, that makes yeah. it a lot harder. <laughs> well, it's randomized. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, just having to guess the uh, actual the, 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 yeah. number. Nah, yeah, we'll have to be mm. like, okay, do this list, do this list. Yeah. 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 I think Fantastic Four would probably be pretty easy. They're top ten. Mm. But, Doom um, number one. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. 
I Doom think Captain Go- America would be pretty easy. For I install. think. Yeah. I mean, Fantastic Four top three has got to be Doom, Galactus, and Mole Man. I mean, I don't know, and an- or or Annihilus, Annihilus, uh, or I think Annihilus, yeah. and I'm, I'm sure Blastar's on the list. Red Ghost yeah. is probably on the list. Um, mm. Scrawls, scrolls, just general, just scrolls in general. Yeah. Yeah. Scrolls in general, yeah. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Would the wizard? Oh the, yeah. The, oh the, right. The, the 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 frightful four. Yeah. Um, frightful four. Facade. Yeah. No. <laughs> no one talks about facade anymore. <laughs> it's dead and buried. Just <laughs> you talking about that web of Spider Man story? No, it was a Fantastic uh, Four one. Oh so yeah, that with, one with yeah, a yeah, really yeah. racist. Character name. <laughs> really oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it's spelled F F A S A U D. I know who's on that Fantastic Four list. Psycho Man. Oh yes, yeah. Psycho yeah. Man is good. Uh, you know, with it being ninety two, Kristoff might be humble. Mm. I could see that being the case. Dragon he was still in power then. Dragon, Dragon Man. Man. Dragon Man. Yeah. The Mad Thinker. Yeah, oh the Mad yeah. Thinker. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, Ramatut. Yeah, King and Ramata, Ramata and Mortis yeah. and all that mess. Yeah, yep. All right. So, <laughs> anything <laughs> else? This all sure? night. I, I, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, all right. Let me. Oh, that's right. This is the last. This will be the last episode of the month. So yeah. So next month will start September, and since Lil's on vacation, we're gonna be doubling up on the Marvel tales for the first. Uh, three weeks of the month, so yeah. yeah, you're gonna be getting double your Justin every week here, kid. Well, right. a lot more than double. Well, he's gonna be he's gonna be on Bat the Batman show every week, so so we know Ray, Ray will hear that. Yeah. I know that's, that's, a busy a, guy. That's, that's a lot of Ray's favorite. Uh, I know. Well, you know what we're <laughs> we're we're doing. You know, we're doing your buddy uh, Asriel. So that's what I said. Ray mm-hmm. should tune in because there's really not a lot of Bruce yeah, there's Wayne. No, so, there's right. no Bruce Wayne involved yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. You know, the only bigger fan of Batman than Ray is Noel. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah. Just Noel just idolizes Batman, you know, and and Ezreal in particular. Yeah, but yes, yeah. Ezreal. Ezreal's like a god among men, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, He's so it, it, an avenging he, angel. Boys, he, he, boys, April Fools! You, uh, Ray and Noel, you should do a Batman show. Just one episode. Come on. Yes. Into the off. dark night. All to do with Batman. As as Ezreal is the punk rock band. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I love that. Go ahead, throw it in. <laughs> and you might be joining us for some of that, Russell, right? At the beginning of next year? Oh, yeah, because yeah, we're starting when in we January. Start, we're we're start gonna get to the, the the regular ongoing of Azrael. Yeah. Mm. Now, didn't he appear in that mini before he became Batman? Like sort of Azrael, sort of, yeah. Sort of Azrael. yeah, yeah. That was his introduction. Yeah, then he yeah. then he comes into the bat books and it's like, oh yeah, we're training you. And then all of a sudden, Bruce Wayne gets his back broke, and he's like, yeah, okay, he can take over. Yeah, I broke You're- my back. <laughs> I my fall- back is broken. I fall- Final. I fall in and I can't get up. <laughs> we need Doctor Plot Resolver. I know. <laughs> Throw him in a hole. <laughs> oh God, that movie. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, that movie sucks. It does, and I can say that because I was in that movie. Yeah, you were in it. Were you really? I was. At, me and my wife were in that uh, stadium scene because they filmed it here. Yeah. No kidding. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know that. You probably don't see me on camera, but yeah, we were there because yeah, it was the thing. They filmed it. it was like the middle of summer, but they're like, yeah, bring your jacket. So it's supposed to be winter. So every oh, time they oh, turn the camera God. on, you had to put your jackets on. So we're. I mean, I was uh, sweating to death. Yeah, I know. And we went out to eat afterwards. We walked in the restaurant. I'm just like, give me as much water and tea as you can, <laughs> like iced tea as you can. I'm just like chugging water. Drenched. And well, burnt to a crisp. It's just sitting oh in the sun God. all day. I cannot tell you how many times I saw that damn kid sing the national anthem. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so, so, like, did, did you actually, like, hear, like, did, were, were they. Um, when Bane is talking to the audience, were you actually like, "Yeah, we did hear, some, we did see, we did see hear some of that," and like, you know, like when the floor of the stadium collapses. Of course, yeah. they, that doesn't happen, but they put like right. these little things under the grass, and they covered it with grass, and they just set them off, and you just hear the grass go, boom, 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 oh. boom, boom, boom. That must have been cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they brought yeah. out all the tumblers and stuff. It was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, that's so cool. I didn't know that film. Be, the only that- good part about that movie is that they. 
uh, well, okay, the only two good things about that movie is Anne Hathaway and uh, the Scarecrow getting to be in all three movies, mm. even yes. if just for a second. Yeah. That's yeah, right. I like, I like him a lot. I didn't even know, I, but I didn't know Jonathan Crane built the atomic bomb. Surprise. <laughs> Well, I didn't know Harley Quinn was Barbie either. But oh, we could. nice. <laughs> oh, that's right. The two big movies in summer led by Batman villains. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ray's going to be bashing his head into the wall. <laughs> Bobbenheim. My favorite Bobbenheim. I love Batman. <laughs> I love Barbie. I love Batman. Batman. Uh, Barbie. <laughs> Batman. Barbenheimer. That was just a My really nice package. My favorite biscuit. <laughs> Out of the pouch, boy. <laughs> oh. Bubble of a boo boo. Because I know Lilith likes it long. <laughs> I love Ray's that part of the pouch one. Ray's probably got some like bats that are the size of Batman over there. I mean, he he lives in that. In that toxic wasteland called Australia, <laughs> where you've got spiders that can fly. What the and f- <laughs> a, You've got rabid chinchillas and <laughs> cr- kangaroos that if you look at them funny, they'll just beat your ass to a pulp. And uh-huh. it's- <laughs> Out of the gooch. That- <laughs> I don't want to be- have duck bills and lay eggs <laughs> and have poison claws. Yeah, I don't oh. want to be... Yeah. Anywhere where a bug is like the size of a dog. Oh I yeah, want it. I know. That's like my wife's like. Oh, it'd, be, it'd probably be nice to live in Australia. I'm like, you can't handle a spider this big. You're gonna, you're gonna get a spider yeah. this big. You know? Yeah. Every day. Yeah. yeah. Oh crikey! Look at the size of that one. Oh! <laughs> Let's put a saddle on it and ride it. <laughs> we'll be like the sectars. <laughs> <laughs> Ray's like, fine, just k- quit talking about Batman. <laughs> All right, so, so yeah, so next time, next time on this show, yeah, we're gonna be covering X Men twenty through twenty two from the nineties, uh, and then X Cat, and then the, the second episode that week we'll be covering X Caliber, the first five issues of the original X Caliber, both of those Justin picks. So yes, those are both of my picks. Yeah, excited. <laughs> I was going to say, you know 90s Psylocke was hot because even the gay guys all like it. It's not 90s Psylocke. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you can't argue with that logic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, speak- um, just real quick, you know, we're doing this Energon universe thing. Mm. Did I miss it and an issue zero came out of Transformers? Did it? I saw oh. a cover and it showed Optimus and it said zero on it. Um, oh, I don't know. I mean, unless the, the, that wasn't like a free comic book day issue or something, was it? Uh, it could have been. You know, I don't know, but I guess I could have brought this up off air. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on, Transformers. Oh no, and yeah, I'm not seeing anything about an issue zero, hmm. so I don't know. Maybe because the person that I was that posted it was, went to San Diego Comic Con. Maybe it was a giveaway type oh, thing. Oh, maybe maybe it was yeah, like an exclusive a exclusive thing. Yeah, like behind could... the scenes art or something. Something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It'd be nice if they um if they did do like a zero if it just compiled like the Transformer stuff from that Void Rivals uh book. Summer like a summary. Of like all a that. summary. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's yeah. not a ton of it. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I'm done ha- hijacking the show. All right. So, gonna... so, yeah, I was going to say, so that's all, so, so that's all what we're doing next time. All right. So uh, Russell or Justin, I mean, what are you guys doing on Gamma Charge coming up? Slapping some meat. No. <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> where, what do we have coming up this month? Obviously, we're going to talk about the third issue of Philip Kennedy Johnson's yeah. uh, yes. Hulk series. And we're going to start... They're, you know, they're rebooting Sensational She-Hulk. Mm-hmm. We're going to start doing that, I think. Nice. Mm. Um, I'm going to have to get the trade of the previous run because I didn't get a chance to read any of that. Um, it's the same writer, so I'm sure there will be continuity. Um, yeah. But uh, I'd have to look at the schedule. Justin, do you're more familiar think- with... 
Yeah, I think what we have next is, yeah, the new issue of number three yeah. and mm-hmm. the sensational She-Hulk. We're, we're still uh, covering the the uh, original sensational She-Hulk. Yeah, the original. The yeah. That's going to be the Howard issues, right? Or it's the... The, it's uh, the start of the, um, the Gerber Steve Gerber one. issues. Yeah. Oh, so don't we, even tell me. I know who's going to be there. I know. <laughs> those, <laughs> those boobs scare him. Uh, but those boobs scare me. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Boobs and I, all the time. You might, you, you know, we might even hear an old friend on that oh. show. Um, you could even say that he. Oh, does he have a doctorate? A, does he have a doctorate? He's a, he's a oh. doctor. An honorary, mm. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and a father. Mm. With quintuplets. <laughs> <no> quintuplets. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. been a while since uh, that guy That's got, true. got he's, to he's, talk to anybody. He's, um, he's been busy. He's been yeah. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a bong. I don't have a bong. <laughs> Close enough. Well, other than that, I mean, you can find us on Tomes of Evil. Um, we do Pathways, Sith Show, and Etrigan's getting a podcast coming out this month. Um, yes. I just forgot to download the files, so Justin has to send them to me again. And Well, um, don't forget Predator and P-Ray with the president of the Batman fan club. Of course. <laughs> we do Predator and Prey with that guy and uh, Sparky Malarkey. Um, and, uh, trapped in a world is somewhere off in the ether, but it'll return someday. It will return. Yeah. Especially since it's the 50th anniversary of Howard the Duck this yes. year. Yes. Um, I have a feeling that trapped in a world is going to come back once school resumes. With a vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> That's my prediction. Uh, and then, uh, what else? Is that it? Yeah. We're yeah, doing Micronauts next year. Yes. But that's going to be on the Tomes of Evil feed. Right. Ah, then, but that'll just be a small show. Yeah. A little tiny show. I know a thing or two about being small. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but then, coming tomorrow on your airwaves, I can tell you right now, is not the Lost Library of Legends. Yes. <laughs> Yes, no, if that Russ was correct, it's not coming out tomorrow. But it's coming soon. It yes. It's coming in September. I'm just not telling you what year. <laughs> you have to guess. It's actually, whoever, it's, actually, whoever guesses. it's actually being released in its entirety as a time capsule to be opened in 2100. Yes, I've already recorded all the episodes. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just waiting. And whatever mutant life forms are still alive here on Earth are going to uncover it and be like, (laughs) We have the building blocks of humanity. Oh, my Lord. So, you mean, there's going to... Just think of all these podcasts survive, you know, there's going to be people post-apocalyptic just running around chanting, Your mother's a whore! We must make a sacrifice to our. Well, that to, out. To the I can't Frank even Miller get out. God. I know. Well, that's what I said. I'm like poor Charlie Esser. I mean, he, little did he realize, that, you know, stuff that was going to outlive him. Oh, I'm going to wear a gimp mask and murder people. <laughs> Everyone loves cocaine. It's enjoyable, and somehow I got pregnant. <laughs> So you never know, man. I mean, I love it. a lot I of this stuff so is gonna out, yeah. you know, can outlive us, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Why don't you sex part me of the up? Fun of it. All right, that's part of the fun of it. But yeah, kids. I mean, so yeah, that's what everyone has coming up next. And again, you can find all the Capes and Lunatics stuff on the website uh, tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. That's tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. And this is where I let Justin usually do his, his uh, plugs, but I think Russell did them all. Yeah, he covered them all. All right, so thank you for joining us for an extra long part two. Yeah, I guess thank you for joining us for an extra long number two. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, fish him out of the commode. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. So that's adding to the list. I'm pure and innocent, but I cannot podcast with Lilith, Justin, or Russell. <laughs> Hey,
<laughs> All right, kids, come back next time. And remember, don't be hijacking no biscuits. Good night. <laughs>